Dancing can help tell a story. For a Madison woman, her story is one of determination and creating opportunity. You see, 20 years ago, Martha Saravo suffered a spinal injury in a car accident, and she's been in a wheelchair ever since. But she isn't letting that stop her from dancing the night away. It's like a new freedom. It gives a new sense of self worth. And it's a place of beauty and grace. That is how Martha Saravo describes what it's like to dance in her wheelchair. It's almost like going to therapy, but you're having fun and you're getting to enjoy yourself and you're actually just exploring what your own body is doing. She got bit by the dancing bug a year and a half ago and has been taking weekly lessons at Fred Astaire Dance Studios in Brookfield. It's the only studio in the state that offers ballroom dancing for those with mobility challenges. For Martha, it's been incredibly transformative. You don't see your body in the same way after you go on the dance floor. You see it in a completely unique way and you see your skills and your style and your soul. Walk. Walk, shift, shift, close. Now give me that nice strong frame again. Matthew Payne is one of Martha's dance instructors and was with her this summer when she took her newfound skills and abilities to the nation's first wheelchair dance competition. I love to see the progression. I think the competition that we had, the first ever wheelchair competition in Michigan, was by far the most amazing way to introduce people to dance mm -hmm. in a way that was so rewarding. <laughs> showing the judges just how capable she really is. As Martha savors the ballroom bliss... I would love to see other representations of myself on the dance floor. Being on a dance floor with more of your peers when you're a wheelchair user is incredibly empowering. Martha's now spinning her wheels to get others like her on the dance floor through her new organization called Wheels and Heels. I saw what dance mobility offered to the local community here and realized that not a single dancer can participate in a truly meaningful way without some sort of financial intervention. She hopes to start adaptive dance classes in different studios starting in Madison and provide financial assistance to budding ballroom dancers. This should be available to more people because of what it brings to an individual. It, it's, that it's, it's just a soul-fulfilling opportunity an opportunity for others to express themselves and move in a way they didn't think possible the freedom that comes from dancing where you didn't think that it was a possibility for you a beautiful place to to be and man it just it brings so many so much joy very nice